Welcome guys. In this video, I will give you a short introduction about Fusion and I will also give you a short tour about Fusion interface. Now we use Fusion in order to create animation. Now you don't need any separate application. You just need to download DaVinci Resolve and you are good to go for animation also. Now if you are Adobe user, you need two separate application for animation and editing but here in resolve you just need one application you'll find fusion here in fourth place of if you are using davinci resolve 16. now here you will see the media pool of fusion here you will find all of the media you have imported from your computer okay after that here you will see two windows at first glance it will look similar to the source window and timeline window but it is different now you can use both of these window in order to see separate nodes for example I mostly use the second window in order to see the output node and the first window to see the node on which I am working currently okay after that here you will see the timeline of your video now you can use these yellow line in order to focus on specific area it will not cut or uh, do anything to your clip you just place this and you are, can focus on this area and if you play your video it will only loop around these two yellow lines now after that you can zoom into your uh, specific area for example if you drag it from this area you can zoom it wherever you want like this and if you are working here you, you will see this area only okay I will adjust it again after that here you will find some basic tool here now if you want to see all the tools of fusion just click on effect library and here you will see all of the tools like blur color composite you will find all the tools here but for the basic tools which mostly used you will find it here You'll find background tool, text tool, you'll find color curves, you'll find blur tools, merge tool, and meta control, and shape or rectangular. This is used in order to mask your uh, video, or you can uh, also use this merge and uh, p render. You'll find all these most useful tools here. After that, here in this side, you'll find your inspector. Now, inspector will change according to the node or uh, effect you have selected it will change every time you have select different node or effect after that you will see the most important and uh, confusing area of uh, fusion nodes now if you looked here this is the uh, media in node for example this is node where this clip is uh, entering into the fusion and this is the media output node you can add effects and nodes in between these two nodes and you can output your video after you have edited all this stuff here now for example if you want to add a background black background to this clip just add this background node and if I put in between these two pipes I will put it here you will see our background will become black you can see now you can easily delete this just click on delete key and it will delete it okay now we will talk about these nodes uh, in the next video now let's talk about nodes now if you import your files from your PC or from the edit tool the default here you will see two nodes media in and media out now this media in is an edited footage and media out is edited footage now for example if you applied any effect here it will affect media out and media out is the footage which is ready to render or deliver okay now if I add a blur effect here you will see nothing happens here this is because I have not linked this blur effect with this pipeline how I can link it I will first unlink it then I will link the output of media in with the input of blur and again I will link the output of blur with the input of media out now you will see nothing happens here because 
the blur size is small so I will increase the blur size you can see you can easily apply this blur effect here like this okay after that I can also add text here if I want to add some text here I can easily add this text node here now in order to uh, add this text with this pipeline you need merge layer the first option is just uh, import this merge layer here and then link this merge layer with the uh, output point of blur and input point of media out and then link this merge layer with text and the second and easiest option is just move this text layer here and put it between center of this pipeline and release it you will see it will automatically create a merge layer for you now if I write something here some text you will see the text has been written on the screen okay now I will arrange my nodes so I have more room to work like this now I want to add a black background here I can easily add it just drag this background here on top of this pipeline and it will automatically create a merge too for us now I only want this black background around this text so I can do it I will mask it out how I can I will just drag this rectangle here and then I will link the background there with the out point of rectangle now you can see it masks this out now I can also increase and decrease the size of our rectangle I will decrease the width and also height like this okay now if you want to preview your uh, rectangle here in the second screen you can easily do it just click on one select this and click on one okay after that I will animate this black background how I can do it first I will select this rectangle then I will change here to 30 frames okay and move my playhead about 30 frames like this now I will add a keyframe here okay and then I will move my cursor back to the zero and then I will reduce the width you don't need to add another keyframe it will do it for you okay now if I play this clip you will see it will create a animation for us you can see like this now the animation is not very smooth so what I can do is first I will move this and focus on this only okay like this now you can see the animation is not very smooth so I will make it smooth first I'll go to this SP line now here if I click on width and again I will click on zoom to fit now you will see this curve like shape here I will select this point here and I will drag this handle and smooth it out you can see like this now if you play the clip I will first turn off it now if I play the clip the animation will be much smoother than before you can see it is much smoother than before now I also want to animate this text so how I can do it I will just link the out point of uh, rectangular or mask to the in point of text now if you can see it animate our text also now you can see how easily we can use nodes and animate our stuff here in the fusion panel of DaVinci Resolve now if you are working on a large project and you have created a lots of nodes it will make it little bit hard for you to manage your nodes and it will create a lots of confusion 
so you can easily group nodes for example these two nodes are linked together so what I will do is I will just group these both nodes now this is very simple nodes mechanism but if you are working on, on a large project it will create a lots of confusion for you so make sure you group your nodes okay and if you double click on any of the node and it will open it okay after that if you are facing any problem while playing your video back and forth just go to the playback and then go to the proxy mode and change it to half resolution or quarter resolution it will not affect your render video it will just change the resolution whenever you are playing your video while editing okay so i will change it to quarter resolution uh, after that just go to the render cache and click on smart and also change the delete rendered cache to unused and click on yes it will help you whenever you are playing your video back and forth while editing in this video i will show you how we can easily create a steam over our cup using keyframes so now in order to create steam we use couple of ways the first is just composite a fake steam from another clip and the second is just create an artificial steam here in davinci resolve now in order to create cloud steam or fog like effect we use fast noise so i will drag this fast noise and then put it between these two nodes and you will see it will automatically create a merge layer for us okay after that you will see fast noise is applied all over the screen but we just want it happen like steam on the upside of this cup so how we can make it like this we will mask it out now we will not be using rectangular mask instead we will click on fast noise and then click on polygon and it will add a polygon mask to this fast noise now I will draw some weird steam shape here like this yeah that's fine you can arrange your mask like this and you can also move your mask okay now that's fine now i will soften the edges of this mask it looks more prominent so i will make it little bit soft no that's okay after that i will animate my mask using keyframe first i will move my playhead at the start of the clip and then i will select this fast noise I will move this circle down here and then I will add a keyframe here okay now again I will move my playhead at the end of the clip and I will move this circle up here okay and I will increase this y-axis up to 3000 now that's also fine now if I play this clip still little bit slow so I will increase this Y point again okay I will increase this Y axis up to 3300 now if I play this you will see smokes is coming out from this cup after that i will add a little bit detail to this smoke so it look good i will see this in screen one and i will also add a little bit contrast to it i will decrease the contrast and little bit brightness after that you can also change this c thread uh, now what C threat is it is the animation of this uh, smoke so if I increase you will see it will animate here you can see in the first screen I will also increase this okay 
now in march i will decrease the blind so it has little bit less effect here and it look more realistic rather than robustic now that's fine now if i play this clip you will see smoke is coming out from our cup you can see how easily we can create this smoke effect here in davinci resolve now i know i still need to work on it but um, this video is for demonstration purpose you can uh, play with the setting and tweak your smoke however you want and you can animate it according to your own taste okay now if i go to this edit panel you will see this effect is also applied here in edit panel you can see In this video, I will show you how we can easily create a steam over our cup using keyframes. So now in order to create steam, we use couple of ways. The first is just composite a fake steam from another clip. And the second is just create an artificial steam here in DaVinci Resolve. Now in order to create cloud steam or fog like effect, we use fast noise. So I will drag this fast noise and then put it between these two nodes. And you will see it will automatically create a merge layer for us okay after that you will see fast noise is applied all over the screen but we just want it happen like steam on the upside of this cup so how we can make it like this we'll mask it out now we will not be using rectangular mask instead we will click on fast noise and then click on polygon and it will add a polygon mask to this fast noise Now I will draw some weird steam shape here. Like this. Yeah, that's fine. You can arrange your mask like this. And you can also move your mask. Okay, now that's fine. Now I will soften the edges of this mask. It looks more prominent, so I will make it a little bit soft. Now that's okay. After that, I will animate my mask using keyframe. First, I will move my playhead at the start of the clip and then I will select this fast noise I will move this circle down here and then I will add a keyframe here okay now again I will move my playhead at the end of the clip and I will move this circle up here okay and I will increase this y-axis up to 3000 now that's also fine now if I play this clip it's still a little bit slow so I will increase this y point again okay I will increase this y axis up to 3300 now if i play this you will see smokes is coming out from this cup after that i will add a little bit detail to this smoke so it look good i will see this in screen one and i will also add a little bit contrast to it I'll decrease the contrast and little bit brightness after that you can also change this C thread uh, now what C thread is it is the animation of this uh, smoke so if I increase you will see it will animate here you can see in the first screen I will also increase this okay 
now in march i will decrease the blind so it has little bit less effect here and it look more realistic rather than robustic now that's fine now if i play this clip you will see smoke is coming out from our cup you can see how easily we can create this smoke effect here in davinci resolve now i know i still need to work on it but um, this video is for demonstration purpose you can uh, play with the setting and tweak your smoke however you want and you can animate it according to your own taste okay now if i go to this edit panel you will see this effect is also applied here in edit panel you can see Welcome guys, in this video I will show you how we can track something in DaVinci Resolve and then stick something with the data we have tracked. For example in this video I will track this car and then stick a text with this car. So first I will do is I will click on shift plus spacebar you can also right click and then go to add tools and then click on tracking here you will find couple of trackers. I will click on planner tracker ok it will bring planner tracker node here. Now I will click on shift and then move this planner tracker between this pipeline. It will join this pipeline. Okay. Now what I will do is I will start tracking my car. First I will control or command and scroll in and try to select this car. You don't need to be perfect here. Okay. Once you have selected your car, you can also adjust your selection like this. Okay. Now that's fine. I will zoom out again and then I will click on track to end and it will start tracking my car. Now I will stop my tracker here because I just want to track where my car is visible. Okay. After that I will click on this create planner transform. It will create a node which include all these tracking data. So I will disconnect this planet tracker here right now. Okay. And connect this with my media in and media out. You will see white lines here. This is the sign that it includes all the tracking data. Okay. Now I will select this and click on text here. It will bring my text node here. Okay, now I will add some text here like this. I'll decrease the size of my text and then I'll bring it here. Again, we will connect this text layer with our planner tracker. So I will disconnect here and then I will connect this planner tracker with our merge layer I will connect our text with the planner tracker. Now if I play this clip you will see it is tracking our text here. Now you can play with this tracker and add a tracking according to your own taste and edit your video easily like this. You can see how easily we track this car and then stick our text with this car.
Welcome guys, in this video I will show you how we can easily create some 3D text. Okay, now if you are creating 3D shape, you have to bring this 3D shape node. But I am creating 3D text, so I will bring this 3D text effect here. Okay, now you will notice this node is not connected with any of these other nodes. Media in and media out. We cannot connect directly to media in and media out. Now for example, if you see any 3D thing in real life we need four things in order to see that 3d things the first is the object itself and after that we need a word where we can see that thing the third is writing and the fourth is eyes okay so what we need we need a word to bring this 3d text in so what we'll do is we'll bring this merge 3d just consider this as the world of 3d text okay we will connecting light and stuff all of this thing here with this merge 3d so I will connect this 3D text with the Merge 3D, okay? Now after that we, we cannot directly connect this Merge 3D with our main pipeline. First we need to convert this into 2D because this is 2D and this is 3D and we cannot connect this 3D with 2D directly. So what I will do is I will import this Render 3D, okay? So I will connect this Merge 3D with the Render 3D and then I will import another Merge layer, okay? Now I will connect this render 3D with the merge one. Okay, like this. Now you will see no 3D effect here because we have not written something. So I will write something here in this style text. Okay, I will write some text. You will see that the size is too big. So I will go to this transform section and I will decrease this scale. Okay. After that, I will move it little bit down and that's fine. Okay. Now if I see my Merge 3D in my screen 1, you will see in 3D here. Okay. Like this. You can also move your text here. Okay. Now in order to move things here in our 3D environment what we need a central mouse scroll. For example if I click on just central mouse scroll and then move it we can move our 3D environment. And in order to zoom in first click on control or command and then uh, scroll in and scroll out in order to zoom out. Now if I click on alt and then click on central scroll and then move it we can move it in 360 angle. Now one thing you will notice there is no 3dness in this 3d text. So what we will do is first we will go to this text 3d and then click on this text and then scroll down and click on extrusion and you will see this extrusion depth is 0 so I will increase this extrusion depth. Now you will see 3dness in this text. Okay. I will zoom out again. Now you see this text is still flat here in this screen. Okay. So how we make it 3D in this screen. Now in order to see the 3Dness of this text we need lighting. So first what I will do is I will click on rendering. And then I will enable this lighting and shadow. And you will see that once I enable lighting and shadow. Text will become black because there is no lighting hitting this text. So what I will do is I will bring lighting. So how I can do it. First I will right click and then go to the tools and 3D and here lighting I will find couple of lighting here the most common is directional light so I will bring this directional light here okay now I will connect this directional light with my merge 3D now you see the text become white now this is our lighting here now we can easily change the angle of our light in order to change the 3D effect here okay for example, if I click on directional light and then go to this transform panel, if I change the rotation, for example, I will change the rotation, you will see the text color is changing. Okay, and I can also move my light here in our 3D screen. Okay, I can change however I like it. Like this. After that you can easily animate this lighting in order to create very cool effect. We will be looking at it in the upcoming videos. So make sure watch that video. 
other than that if I go to this color section I can also change the color of my lighting easily okay I can choose any color I want you can also use this RGB colors panel and you can also increase and decrease the intensity here now let's play with our lighting and create a really cool animation using lighting so first I will tell you that uh, you can add as many light as you want for example if I want to add another directional light from this side I can easily do that what I'll do is first I'll click here and add tools and 3d and in lights I will add another directional light I can also add spotlight point light ambient light so for now I will click on directional light now again I will link this direction light with my merge 3d you can link as many nodes as you want to this merge 3d okay after that if I click here it is spot which light is selected if I click here you will see this light is selected now and if I click here it will highlight this light now I will move this light here in this position again I will change the color of this light okay so you can see the difference between this one and the, this one now I just want a little bit shade so what I'll do is I will move the X axis of this I just want a little bit shade like this you can see red shade here now after that I can also create really cool animation using these light first I will import another 3d light and this time I'll import spotlight okay you can also import it from here now I will connect this with my Merge 3D. Once I have connected, it will highlight this light is selected. I will move it here. Again, you can see it is highlighting the area which I have selected. First, I will change its color. I will change it to something like green or I will select this yellow color. Okay, I can arrange my light like this now what I'll do is I will click on transform and I will move my playhead at the start of this clip and I will arrange it so like this now I will change the, my y axis and move it in this angle now I will add a keyframe here after that I will change my playhead to other point and I will change my Y axis and move it here and it will add a keyframe automatically you don't have to add other keyframe now if I play this clip you see very cool animation first time it will take some time to load but after that it will load really fast you can see we can easily create these effect here in fusion section or DaVinci Resolve using light. Now sky is limited here. You can add as many light as you want and add it to your light and add an effect which you want to add to your clip easily.